Welcome back! You're watching another Infinite Flight tutorial, and in this video I'll show you to fly a GPS approach. A GPS approach, most commonly referred to as an RNAV approach, is a non-precision approach which serves airports where the terrain and obstacles don't allow for your standard vertical guidance found on an ILS. A successfully flown GPS approach is as simple as following the lateral guidance waypoint to waypoint and meeting altitude restrictions using VNAV or a manual approach descent. These GPS approaches are labeled with an R for RNAV or H for RNAV RMP on your instrument procedure selection list. Be sure you check out our instrument procedures tutorial for more. You'll find that GPS approaches often offer multiple initial approach fixes and can be a simple straight in approach, a familiar downwind based final route, a T type approach, or even a winding final approach to remain clear of terrain like the one we'll fly today. I'm filed for the GPS approach runway 2 and have just been handed off to Kathmandu approach descending through 19,000 feet as we prepare for landing. Our first transmission to approach should always be our approach request, not a check in. I've requested the GPS approach runway 2 at Kathmandu, to which ATC replies, Continue as filed, expect the GPS approach runway 2. This means I can continue following my flight plan and descending to meet my first altitude restriction of 15,000 feet in the star. At any point you may be given an alternate heading or altitude assignment, which must be complied with immediately. ATC is assigned a heading of 0, 9, or 0, and then 10,000 feet. I've quickly disarmed LNAV, VNAV, and will manually input the assignments. Once permitted to rejoin your filed route, you'll hear continue as filed. I've activated the most appropriate leg of my flight plan based on my current location, armed LNAV and VNAV, and we're back inbound to the initial approach fix for the runway 2 GPS approach at Kathmandu. As we rejoin our filed flight plan, ATC has cleared us for the GPS approach runway 2. This means we are cleared to continue following the lateral and vertical guidance published on the runway 2 GPS approach that we filed in our flight plan. These approaches can be flown by hand or automatically using the VNAV and LNAV function, though it will need to be flown manually after the final published altitude restriction. As we continue inbound, I have LNAV and VNAV enabled, which is crossing each waypoint at its minimum published altitude. Once comfortable, we'll disable autopilot and fly the rest on our own following the bearing guidance and prescribed altitudes. The rest will all look familiar. With a smooth touchdown, we've arrived at Kathmandu and can log another approach in the books. Head over to our flying guide for a more in-depth look at how to fly the various approaches on Infinite Flight. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also stay up to date by following Infinite Flight on social media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.